Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone having a wonderful day. Johnny Depp strongly hints at Captain Jack Sparrow's return from Pirates of the Caribbean. Recently, Johnny Depp was spotted singing live on stage with Jeff Beck while sporting his signature burgundy headband. Johnny Depp is well recognized for his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the lasting Pirates of the Caribbean film series. After winning a six-week defamation case against his ex-wife Amber Heard, the Hollywood star, 59, is still trending on social media as fans want him to patch things up with Disney and return to the Pirates of the Caribbean series. According to Depp's most recent behavior, the star might soon give in to his fans' demands. Pictures of him wearing Jack Sparrow's recognizable burgundy headband during a recent live on stage performance with Jeff have appeared online. His return to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise has already sparked jubilation among his supporters, in response to Disney's decision to disassociate itself from Depp in the aftermath of Amber Heard's allegations of domestic abuse. Depp reportedly decided not to wear the burgundy headband. Depp was reportedly seen for the first time since his spat with Disney wearing Captain Jack Sparrow's burgundy headband. Johnny Depp usually makes public appearances wearing a hat with black and white polka dots. As a result, it is fairly important to watch him put on the captain's uniform of the Black Pearl, which brings about his return to the picture. After Depp won his defamation lawsuit, a prominent story claimed that Disney was considering a $301 million contract to lure the actor back into his role. However, a spokeswoman for the actor denied the claim was false. Among other Disney park attractions, Disney has continued to use his persona in the rides in Disneyland Park and Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World Resort. Jack Sparrow is also visible in World of Color at Disney California Adventure. People will surely think of the iconic Disney pirate when they see Depp sporting the burgundy red headband or bandana because Jack Sparrow is his most well-known and adored character. Johnny Depp creates and interprets each role he plays in an unorthodox manner, and Jack Sparrow is no exception. He is the primary factor in why most viewers of the Pirates of the Caribbean films watch them, albeit he is not the only one. The original trilogy is a really creative notion for a series with an aesthetic that will survive in fame with Depp's performance, while being based on a Disney experience. There was no better actor to play the role at the time the movie was made than Johnny Depp, who built the character from scratch and gave him a variety of catchphrases and mannerisms to make him feel like a whole person. He was given an iconic look by makeup artist Joel Harlow and costume designer Penny Rose. One of Johnny Depp's best roles was as Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean, one of only 14 Disney movies to obtain this rating, debuted as the studio's first PG-13 movie in 2003. The industry had been making movies for almost 70 years at that point, and going by its earlier track record, the studio didn't have much success with its theme park-themed movies. The Disney-themed park attraction, while popular by fans, lacked a plot and recognizable characters, thus the movie should have been a disaster. However, it grossed over five times its budget after five editions and had no intention of stopping there, going on to become one of the most successful series in history. Because of the actual wit and humor in the writing, The Curse of the Black Pearl and Johnny Depp's portrayal of the titular character, Jack Sparrow, received positive reviews right away. Gore Verbinski directed the original trilogy, while Terry Rossio and Ted Elliott developed and wrote the first four Pirates of the Caribbean movies. This franchise would not have reached its current level of success without Johnny Depp's role. Despite the fact that it has a fantastic plot, well-developed characters, an intriguing universe, and outstanding performance. Due to their strong emotional connection to the actor's portrayal, fans have expressed their dissatisfaction at his replacement for the upcoming sixth movie. Other standout performances came from actors Jeffrey Rush, Captain Barbosa, Kiara Knightley, Elizabeth Swan, and Orlando Bloom, Will Turner. But whenever Jack Sparrow, the character, appears on screen, Johnny Depp commands the audience's attention. There weren't many pirate movies before 2003, and no one was really into them. The stories seemed uninteresting and flat, but then Pirates of the Caribbean showed up. The first trilogy's plot elements paid homage to well-known pirate tropes while also moving the story in a whimsical and frightening direction. In The Curse of the Black Pearl, the viewer discovers that the pirates pillaging the hamlet are actually living skeletons, whose silhouettes are visible by moonlight and that they need bootstrap Bill Turner's blood to survive, a pirate they had thrown overboard. 
However, Will Turner has his father's blood in his veins. Because they each took the cursed riches, each pirate must now return every coin and make a blood sacrifice in order to lift the curse. It comes out that Jack Sparrow once led the Black Pearl's crew as its commander. Everyone's preferred antihero, who is also cursed, stole the cursed riches. This story made people love pirates again, if they ever did, which is improbable. Dead Man's Chest, the sequel that was published three years later, earned more than $1 billion. The sequel was made with a greater budget and the support of the success of the first film because of the better-looking CGI and makeup effects, the intriguing story and characters, and, of course, Johnny Depp's further evolution of Jack Sparrow. Viewers were even more pleased as a result. When Jack looks to have been murdered by the Kraken at the end of the film, the audience is horrified because it seems there is no hope. That is, until Hector Barbosa, who had previously died, makes a stunning comeback and promises the excitement and thrills of the impending film. In 2006, this sequence was especially thrilling for younger audiences since it suggested that the adventure was still going on. Many viewers thought that after the third film, at World's End, the plot sort of fizzled out. It had exciting ideas, like including more mermaids and sea sirens from Pirate Legend, yet there was something missing. People flocked to the new movies despite the somewhat weak idea because Johnny Depp really lived up to his character. Fans would turn out for the adventure regardless of the plot in the first Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy due to how well-developed the trilogy was and how nuanced and compelling Johnny Depp's portrayal was. Now that Jack Sparrow has been replaced, the next actor who will play him will have large shoes to fill. Stay tuned with Gossip Time. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.